One of the first stories we did out of Denver involved a large group of black people who were targeting white people in the main mall of Denver. They were targeting them for robbery, assault. Lots and lots of people got hurt really badly. But here's the kicker. This went on for six months without anybody knowing about it, without one reporter figuring it out, without any cop leaking it to the press, nothing. And when it finally did start to come out because the crime was so enormous, there were so many dozens of examples of black-on-white violence in downtown Denver, well, they started to dribble out going, well, the usual, well, it's not that much. Well, maybe it's something, but we didn't never happen before. Well, maybe it's something and it happened before, but we're never going to let it happen again. That's how they roll in Denver, where black crime, just like in every other city in America, is wildly out of proportion. One of the reasons it's out of proportion is because in Denver, like everywhere else, everybody knows the script. When you get caught, do everything you can to pull the race car, to intimidate, to be a bully, to yell, to scream, to holler, to threaten. Well, let's see how that worked out for the son of the mayor of Denver just a few days ago. It's been seen by more than 150,000 people and shared all day long on social media. You might have seen this outrageous video of Denver Mayor Michael Hancock's son taunting and berating an Aurora police officer. Well, tonight, this story is getting national attention. Well, that video was leaked to our chief investigator, Tony Kovaleski. Do you regret the choice of words you used that day? Jordan Hancock elected not to answer our questions, not to explain the 20 seconds on this video. My dad's the mayor, you f that ha ha mayor of what? Yeah, exactly. Are you sure? Don't worry about you it. You and a f***er, he yeah, is mayor of exactly. Aurora. Guess what? I'm about to be quiet, you f***er. Yeah, for what? Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about it. Hey, me and Boo, whatever. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, whatever. And, and I got my own Exactly, and I got my own that began as a routine traffic stop on a Friday this past March. The mayor's son pulled over for doing 65 in a 40 mile per hour zone. The officer wrote on the ticket, attitude very poor, see video. Did you tell your dad what really happened here? It's a question we wanted to ask Jordan's dad, but Denver Mayor Michael Hancock declined our request for an interview, declined our offer to view the video before this report. And late last week at a public appearance, Mayor Hancock dodged our questions and quickly drove away. Instead, the mayor's staff released this statement saying, we have addressed the matter with Jordan and he has apologized to the officer. But the mayor's son refused to issue an apology in front of our cameras. Do you regularly use the mayor card to intimidate, to try to get out of trouble? You're, you're walking away from us, Mr. Hancock. Why not answer our questions? Why not take a moment and say, you know what, I made a mistake? Don't you owe that officer an apology? So you should know, Aurora Police Chief Nick Metz launched an internal investigation immediately after learning that video was leaked to our investigative team. Now, earlier this evening in a Facebook post, Chief Metz wrote, the department has determined that disclosure of the entire video would not be appropriate at this time and that the decision was not influenced by Denver's mayor or others. Now, the question, Jordan Hancock, well, he entered a guilty plea in court yesterday, paid a $250 fine for that speeding ticket, no discussion about the video. So here's what we don't know about what just happened in Denver. And so the son comes home, tell, maybe he did tell the dad, maybe he didn't. But at some point, those two had a conversation. So the conversation went something like this. You would hope it would have gone something like this, where the father was saying, to, the mayor of Denver was saying to his son, you no good, blankety blank, why are you insulting my officers? They're, why weren't you obeying the law? Did I teach you to, to be like that? Where did you learn to act like a thug? Why did you think that was going to get you out of that situation? How could you do that when it reflects on me and makes me look bad? How? You would hope that conversation took place. But there's also a chance another conversation took place. This conversation would go like this. It would say, Johnny, why did you say that to the cop on video? 
Don't you know we can't win those encounters on video? All you had to do was come to me, tell me what was going on, and that cop's life would have changed. Instead of working the, 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 the traffic beat, he'd be working the ghetto at night during the weekends, and he would know why. So because crime is the new black entitlement in this country and black people so often refuse to take even a small amount of responsibility for crimes they are caught doing on video, we don't really know which version of that conversation took place. Only that whatever happened, everybody in Denver was pretty much determined to report it in a way that didn't make the black kids angry.